16 now and a shift in the Republican race for president. For the first time, a national poll shows Ted Cruz ahead of Donald Trump. The Wall Street Journal NBC poll shows Marco Rubio in third. Tonight, several GOP candidates fielded questions in televised town halls. And political analyst John Keller joins us now to talk about that. John, you are keeping a particularly close eye on the way they answered the questions. Yeah, Lisa, you can tell a lot about a candidate from how direct or evasive they are in response to questions. And tonight, undecided voters got an eyeful of the contrasting styles of three of the candidates, Trump, Rubio, and Cruz. We're going to bring back our jobs. We're bringing them back from China. Trump's lead in this race reflects his keen eye for cutting-edge issues. And while his blunt answers can be crowd-pleasers... I give arms. that commitment right now, absolutely. Other responses, like this one, to a question about Apple's refusal to help the feds hack a terrorist's iPhone, are as vague as can be. What do you do as far as changing laws to make tech knowledge... Or to uh, deal with this situation? Tech companies comply with the needs of the government. We should force them to do it. We should do whatever we have to do. I don't have a magic solution for it today. By contrast with Trump, Rubio often prefers to smother questions with specific solutions. How do you deal with cutting costs for students but still maintaining a high quality of education? I have a bipartisan agenda on this issue and it comprises four main things. The first is alternative accrediting. But like Trump, Rubio sometimes prefers to change the subject. He said yesterday, you got a candidate who sponsored a bill that I supported to finally solve the immigration problem and he's running away from it as fast as he can. Yeah, it's but President Obama has no standing to talk about immigration. Donald Trump, uh, Marco Rubio both have said uh, you've lied, that you're a liar. Are they lying about that? <laughs> you know, I gotta say, Anderson, this is a strange election season. And Ted Cruz, a bit of the best and worst of both Rubio and Trump. The aggressiveness of Trump and the verbal agility of Rubio without much of the charm of either one. Now, how many voters really care about a candidate's command of detail and the directness of those answers? We're about to find out. Lisa? Yes, we are. All right, John, thank you.